Wolf Hall's design is underway. Of course, it's going to change here and there, but it's definitely more, I don't know, enticing than painting a Victorian. I'm kind of over that right now. So I put together a list of all the things that I need um, to get started. And I have been gathering supplies over the last couple of weeks, including the wood and blades and I got this at the hardware store for two dollars so I got my pin nails I've got my palette knives and the wood board I definitely have I just showed that these are 1 16th and 1 8th basswood and those I have as well um I have poster board I've got all those I'm gonna make foam core walls this time and uh, I do have my blades. I don't know where I put them. They're somewhere around here. And let's see now. Oh, I need a half and quarter dowels. I have plenty of dowels. And I also have plenty of half and quarter inch strips of basswood. So we will go ahead and knock that off the list. And I showed you my wood and basswood sheets. These are not four inches, but oranges wide and I will get the vinyl for the windows later. Let's get started. Bending cedar, that's my first step getting ready to build this dollhouse. I'm going to be using some natural wood elements so I grabbed some pieces of wood and shaped them and now they're set aside to dry. The local hardware store gave me this luon so I am going to saw it into three pieces and laminate them together. It needs a lot of glue. I gotta glue the shit out of it because it's already delaminating on its own. They used it as a floorboard. You can see blueprints. And I am going to just put these little uneven layers together. And because they are so warped and messed up, I'm going to use wood screws to pull the sheets together. And I don't really care if it's not pretty or if it's not perfect because none of this is going to show. I'm going to sand down the edges and smooth it out and then cover most of it anyway but it is the foundation i need to get started on this dollhouse and now i can start thinking about building the walls and all such things so this is step one and we're off so wolf hall's foundation needs the boot marks of the patriarchy sanded off and that is done i smoothed it up still managed to give myself a huge splinter though and here are some little Hardwood legs that I got as a yard sale find. Um, the homeowner, former homeowner, had been a hobbyist and he had a bunch of wood pieces from turning and doing all sorts of different things. So I got them for a huge deal. Um, but yeah, anybody can just, uh, you know, get a solid piece of plywood or a solid piece of wood and cut their own foundation and have it be fancy and you can just stain it and smooth it and make it beautiful, even route the edges, whatever you want to do. But this ugly thing that I made, this piece of shit, is not going to show anyway. So, um, yay. Now I'm applying some hat mulling, as I make, I make hats too sometimes. I do costumes. So I had some hat mulling laying around. You can use felt, you can use quilt batting, whatever. Um, this stuff will help the dollhouse platform here slide across the table without scratching the shit out of the surface. Um, and uh, it also hides the, uh, the screws. I can't screw them too tightly because those blocks are brittle and they kept breaking even pre-drilled. So here is the platform. It's got a nice rise. So if I want to add switches under it, I can. And here are some of the pre-drilled blocks that I broke anyway by screwing them in too tightly. And this is an afternoon visitor who came to our front door to say hi. Isn't he gorgeous? I love it up here.